Your Excellency, I have the honor to present the credentials which inform that Comrade Kim Jong-un, Chairman of the State Affairs Commission of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, has appointed me as Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary of the DPRK to the Republic of India. Excellency, I heartily accept your credentials. My warm wishes to you for your successful tenure in India. Thank you. Your Excellency, I have the honor to present to you the letter of recall of my predecessor and the letter of credence by which His Excellency President Makisal appoints me as Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary to the Republic of India. Excellency, I heartily accept your credentials. My warm wishes to you for your successful tenure in India. On behalf of the President of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, I hereby take great privilege and honor to present the letter of recall of my predecessor and the letter of credence on my own behalf as High Commissioner to the Republic of India. Excellency, I heartily accept your credentials. My warm wishes to you for your successful tenure in India. Excellency, I have the honor and privilege to present to you my letter of credentials from the government of Mauritius appointing me as High Commissioner to the uh, High Commissioner of Mauritius to the government of India. Excellency, I heartily accept your credentials. My warm wishes to you for your successful tenure in India. Thank you. Your Excellency, I have the honour to present the letter of credence signed by the Governor General of Australia, appointing me as High Commissioner to India, along with the letter of recall for my predecessor. Excellency, I heartily accept your credentials. My warm wishes to you for your successful tenure in India. Thank you. Your Excellency, I have the great honor to present to you the letters of recall of my predecessor, and as well as the letters of credence by which the President of the Republic of Cote d'Ivoire, His Excellency Alassane Ouattara, appoint me as Ambassador of the Republic of to the Republic of India. Excellency, I heartily accept your credentials. My warm wishes to you for your successful tenure in India. Thank you. Your Excellency, I have the honor and the great pleasure to present to you my letters of credence by which His Excellency Koro Kagame, President of the Republic of Rwanda, appoints me as the High Commissioner of the Republic of Rwanda to the Republic of India. Please accept your Excellency, my letters of credence. Excellency, I heartily accept your credentials. My warm wishes to you for your successful tenure in, in India. Thank you. Excellencies, I am delighted to receive your credentials. I thank you for your warm words of friendship. We are living in challenging times. The COVID-19 pandemic poses several limitations on us. We are fortunate that digital technology has enabled us to carry out our functions in an innovative manner. This is the first time that we have had credentials, presentation in Rasputi Bhavan through this medium and for that reason today is a very special day in our engagement with the diplomatic community in India. I thank you for participating in today's function. Excellencies, India remains committed to harnessing the limitless possibilities of the digital pathway for the advancement of its people and the world at large. India has also been at the forefront of providing support
to fellow countries to fight the COVID-19 pandemic. To deal with the present crisis, we need greater global cooperation. We are happy that we have vibrant relations with all the seven countries represented here and we are committed to deepen our relations further. Our relations with the Democratic People's Republic of Korea are warm and friendly. Recently, we celebrated the 45th anniversary of our diplomatic ties. We are happy that our development partnership is making progress. India-Senegal relations are close and special. Our leaders have been meeting each other at regular intervals. This bodes well for our growing ties. Excellencies, with uh, Trinidad and Tobago, our bonds are rooted in shared history, kinship and culture. This year marks the 175th anniversary of Indian Arrival Day in Trinidad and Tobago. We are committed to further strengthen these special ties. India and Mauritius share an enduring and time-tested relationship. I was honored to be the chief guest at the 50th anniversary celebrations of the Independence Day of Mauritius in 2018. We look forward to adding further depth to our partnership. I am delighted that our bilateral relations with Australia are deepening across a wide range of sectors. It was an honor for me to pay a state visit to Australia in 2018. Our high-level exchanges in the recent past have indeed added a new momentum to our bilateral and global partnership. India and Coast the Voa ties are warm and friendly. We are committed to making greater progress in our economic and development partnerships. Our relationship with Rwanda is on a firm footing. Recent high-level visits from both sides have added a new dynamism to our ties and we want to continue to build on them. Excellencies, the global community is faced with an unprecedented situation. Let us all come together as friends and as partners to make the world a better place for ourselves and for our future generations. Excellencies, it has been a pleasure to meet you in this innovative format. I wish you all success in your tenure in India and a safe and pleasant stay here. Thank you all.